Hi, I wanted to try to address a point that I thought was kind of skipped over in the original post about uh, how you go about centering up the servo. Uh, first of all, what I'd like for you to think about is what a servo is, and by definition, it's a uh, electromechanical device with a feedback loop in it that controls the start and stop, and that feedback is the piece that I think um, and where that happens is what I think is critical to the to the doing this uh, operation correctly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this servo's energized, and I'm going to try to remove the um, control arm. Now you see the servo is turning right now, and uh, while it's out of frame. What I'm doing is I'm operating the rudder stick left and right, and you can see that it, what's happened is I've broken the the uh, feedback loop, and the feedback loop is really this brass shaft sticking up here. This is the end of a pot or volume control, just like you have on your car radio. Now, what's going on in the servo? is the transmitter and the receiver are sending out a variable pulse width and I'm not going to go into all the details but basically this brass pot shaft uh, when it turns it creates a matching pulse width and when the uh, when the two pulse widths are exactly the same then the servo considers itself centered and that's the feedback if I, I'm rotating, rotating the um, brass shaft and I've moved it off of normal and look how fast that the gears are changing. Now I'm rotating back and I'm coming back to center position and I've gone past center and it's rotating the other way around. Now the kicker or the reason the uh, post works uh, as described is because while the um, this uh, gear and arm piece are splined and you can only fit them on at certain angles this uh, shaft, brass shaft on the volume control or pot as they call it is smooth and it's a simple fr friction fit uh, to uh, on this on this last uh, on this last control arm or last gear so it can be positioned infinitely in an infinite number of positions so again I'm going to turn this back to find center and it's very sensitive you can all right now it's centered I'm going to turn off the transmitter at this point and it doesn't make any difference that the gears spun around because the brass shaft did not move. Now what's important here is that without disturbing that shaft position I'm going to try to uh, stick this uh, gear and arm on at exactly the right angle or the angle that I want to call center. In this case we're going to call it at right angles to the body of the, uh, of the servo. Uh, housing and if I can quit fumbling around we'll get it on here all right now what's happening is because of the way the, where the gears have parked I don't know if you can see it or not uh, I, I'm not able to seat it directly on uh, let's, let's get the big fat fingers out of the way and try to use something that will give you a little better view there. Now I'm going to push that straight down and it's pretty close to right. So at this point I'm going to turn the transmitter back on and we'll watch how it centers up. And it didn't move at all but it is there because now I'm, I'm operating the rudder control left and right and there's center. And I hope that makes some sense to you. I've kind of rambled around but uh, maybe that'll help clarify the, the uh, point about the uh, how you set this up. It's uh, the fact that that brass knob is your feedback loop and it's infinitely uh, settable 
Um, so thanks a lot for watching.